Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is for Behavioral Science 3010, Statistics for the Behavioral Sciences at Utah Valley University. In this video, we're looking at the third practice test for Chapter 3 on Central Tendency. The first question on this test is, in a positively skewed distribution, which measure will generally have the highest value? The choices are all are the same, or the median, the mode, or the mean. By the way, in case you notice, I ask a lot of variations on the same question. It's because I know a lot of people have trouble when they actually get to the test. So I'm trying to do, engage in what uh, the cognitive psychologists call overlearning, kind of hammer this one home. Even after you've learned it, trust me, it's a good thing. Anyhow, the answer to this one is the mean. And let's take a look why. Here's our skewed distribution. We've seen this one several times already. This one's positively skewed, which means the outliers, the extreme scores, are on the right side. They're on the high end. And you see how the mode stays put at the uh, at the top of the bulge there. The median has moved forward, but the mean has moved the most. It is the most influenced. It follows the outliers. And that's, uh, that's one of the major weaknesses of the mean, uh, something to always be aware of. Number two, what is the minimum level of measurement needed to calculate the mean? Choices are nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. And by the way, the previous versions of this question asked about the mode and the median. This one's about the mean. The answer is interval. To calculate the mean, you have to know how far apart scores are from each other. And the interval is the lowest level that does that. Nominal simply indicates that people are in different categories, and ordinal puts them into order, but doesn't say how far apart they are. Interval is the first one that says how far apart they are, and therefore it lets you calculate a mean and other statistics. A ratio adds a zero point. That's that's another nice thing, but it, it it's not necessary. Um, you can do the mean with interval or ratio. All right, number three. Which measure central tendency is most affected by outliers? The mode, the median, the mean, or all are the same? This looks uh, awfully familiar. In any case, it's the mean. And there it is all over again, pulled in the direction of the outliers. All right, what is the mean for these data? The numbers are 3, 1, 2, 5 plus, 2, and 4. And the uh, choices are 2.5, 3, 6, or cannot be calculated. Well, the answer for this one's a little unusual. This is my trick question. The answer is cannot be calculated. And the reason for that has to do with the data. Let's take a look at it. Now, the first thing I always like to do is rearrange it, put it from put it in order from least to greatest. And so here we are, we've got one, two, two, three, four, but it's the five plus. That's an open-ended score, and unfortunately, you cannot calculate a mean with an open-ended score because it that actually is a category, and it's saying that the score is somewhere in this category, and so you have lost the precision of measurement. You can't say exactly how far away it is from the others, so you can't do the mean anymore. So with an open-ended score, or for that matter, an undefined score, you simply cannot calculate the mean. It's not possible. All right, last question. What is the median for these data? It's the same data set here. 3, 1, 2, 5 plus, 2, and 4. And the choices are 2.5, 3, 6, and cannot be calculated. Well, the median is different from the mean, and so the answer in this case is 2.5. And here's why. If we take the numbers and we rearrange them, so we go 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, and 5 plus, the median is going to be in the middle. Now, this is an even number of scores. There's six of them. So what we do is we count into the middle, and I put that red dot right there in the middle, and I highlighted the two numbers on the uh, immediately on the left and the right of the red dot. That's a two and a three. When you have two numbers uh, right there near the middle, because you have an, an even number of scores, you average those two. So what you do is you add them together, two plus three, and divide it by two. That gets you an average. So that's five divided by two equals 2.5. And that is the median, even though we have an open-ended score. Because it's on the outside, it doesn't affect the median because we're still counting in from uh, the sides. And that is the last pretest for chapter uh, three. Thank you.